Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to walk through the process of integrating Splunk Enterprise with Syslog. Today we are going to cover prerequisites. Step 1. Download and install Syslog in Linux instance. Step 2. Enable receiving port TCP or UDP in Splunk. Step 3. Enable Syslog to send the data to Splunk. Step 4. Check if Syslog sending data to Splunk. Before we dive in, make sure you have the following. A Splunk Enterprise instance installed on a Linux or Windows, a new Linux server or instance with root level access, firewall access to enable ports. Now let's start the hands-on by creating a new Linux server. I'm in my AWS management console within uh, EC2 instances. I'm going to create launch instance. In here, let's give a name as Linux Syslog. Let me select Red Hat as a machine image. Instance type, I'm going to select D2 large. I'm going to select an existing security group here. And let's launch the instance. Okay, the instance is created. It's still not running it. Let's wait for it. Okay, now the Linux syslog instance is running. Now let's start installing, download and install syslog in the Linux. Let me connect to, connect to this Linux instance. Let's copy the ssh command. Navigate to the folder which has .pem file. Let's paste the SSH command. Yes. Now let's log in as a root user. Okay. Now we are going to enter the subscription manager command. Let's type yes. Okay, now let's navigate to the m.repos.d directory. Now let's install wget package installer. Okay, now let's download dot repo file using duplicate command. Okay, it's downloaded. Now let's install sys syslog ng. Okay, the installation is done. Now let's enable and start the syslog. Okay, 
okay let's check the status and make sure this log is running yeah you see it is active and running we have completed the step one now let's move on to step two how to enable the receiving ports in Splunk let me log into my indexer in here let's navigate to settings data inputs under TCP we are going to add a port now let me click click on new local TCP let's enter the port number as 5514 let's click on next we are going to create a new source type source type is TCP log Let's select the uh, context as search and reporting. Let's keep the method as IP and index as main index. Yeah. Yeah, I already have the TCP log. I'm just going to select it. Let's click on review submit that's it we have enabled the receiving port in Splunk in step 3 we are going to open the command line of a syslog server let's go to git bash here we are going to enable syslog to send data to Splunk for that, I'm going to log in as a root user. Now, let me redirect to the syslog ng directory. Let's list the contents. Okay, we have syslog ng.conf file. Okay, we can find syslog ng.conf file here. We are going to edit this corner file to configure the IP address and port number of the indexer. Now, let's edit this corner file. Okay, let's move to the end of this file. Okay, I'm going to configure the source and destination here. In destination, I'm going to enter the IP address and port number. Okay, we have uh, configured the source and destination. We have also mentioned the IP address and port number. Let's save this. Now let's restart the syslog ng. We have enabled the syslog. Now let's go, go for the step 4 to check if syslog is sending data to Splunk. Let me go to my indexer. Within my indexer. I'm going to start searching the data from the port 5514. I'm going to check for last 15 minutes. Okay, now we have completed the step 4, but if you see, we are not getting the data yet. So now we are going to troubleshoot why we are not getting the data. So first we have to check if the port is enabled in the syslog. So for that, Let's go to git bash and let me use se manage command to check if that port is available. Okay, 
now if you see I have used the se manage command but we are not getting any uh, outputs here so what it means is the 5514 port is disabled so we have to enable it for that we are going to use the command se manage and add the port here okay so now let's try again and uh, give this se manage port command yeah now if you uh, you can see that 5514 is enabled now so now let's go to indexer and check if we are getting the data now let's check it okay we are still not getting the data so now the second step is we have to go to the ec2 instance and we'll check in the firewall settings and let's enable the 5514 port in the indexer here let's go to instance for the indexer we'll go to the security groups in here let's add a new inbound rules add rule 5514 yeah let's save the rules yes now we have added it in the security group let's go to the indexer and try it again we are still not getting the data after few minutes as you can see the data got indexed in the splunk that's it we have uh, integrated the splunk with syslog thank you